All right, let's try this again. Here we go. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm trying to add John now. Um, moments away. Hmm. Meanwhile. I had some help today making this board. I'm very proud of it. It's a really nice background to my Villa One chat here. There's a lot of uh, fun things on there. Um, I've also got my Villa One cocktail here. It's the Especial. That is uh, Villa One Reposado, right there. A little club soda, orange wedge, and um, and a little, uh, well, ice, as you can see. John, where are? <clears throat> Thanks for your patience, everybody. Old man Joan is still trying to figure out how to use technology. We are connecting live to John now. There he is. Oh, there we go. Hey. Hey, Nick. How's it going, John? How are you, brother? How do I turn you on? I'm all good. Can you see me? I got you. Uh, you you know, it's funny. Um, I, I was watching you. Uh, trying to technically get connected here with my 11 year old and Joyce. But I was thinking as I was sitting here, three weeks ago, we were having uh, a cocktail and dinner in New York. And in three weeks, the whole world has just completely turned upside down. Yeah, it's nuts. It's a, cra it's a crazy time. How are you guys doing? Uh, we're doing all right. Thank you for asking. Um, I know I was, I was thinking about that too before this, before this chat just how rapidly things have changed and how many lives are being affected around the world. Um, and so first off, to everyone watching, um, we just want to say we're here for you. We're thinking about you. Uh, you're in our thoughts and prayers. And um, amidst the, the, the craziness of these times, uh, John and I spoke offline just about, uh, first of all, how much we missed hanging out um, and also what we could do just to connect and also have a chance to connect with with our fans in the world and you know one of the things that brought us together obviously is uh our our love for creating and and uh, imagining and um and also tequila also look my wife's here with our our, our dogs hey pray how are you i'm grabbing my villa one cocktail here as well uh, i'm gonna pour myself a glass as well yeah. but uh have you met gina have you met gino yet no, but I've seen He's plenty of pictures problem. of Gino. <laughs> He's a good boy. Looks like you guys are having a good time together. There's a lot of love there. A lot of love here, uh, and also a lot of tequila. So for those who are joining us and drinking, this is uh, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Um, me As and... you can see, can I show them the board? Yeah, I showed them a little bit. Let's see, it's 5 o'clock somewhere. I love now. it. I love it. Well, it's, it's 8 o'clock in New York, but it feels like 5 o'clock since we're uh, – we're toasting together. So as you say, I love the whole comment that it is five o'clock someplace. And, and to everybody out there, to good health, to safe, uh, to safe well-being, and to uh, lots of love to your families as well. Cheers to that. Yeah. Now, we know there's a lot going on in the world, but we said why not take a minute to slow things down with, with friends uh, and with the people joining us online just to, to you know, have a sip of a drink if you're old enough to do so. <laughs> And, uh, I definitely am. <laughs> and, <laughs> puppy, and let things slow down a little bit and actually just take into account um, that this ability to connect like this in, in other ways is, is so helpful in times like this when we're all so far apart from the people we love um, or just uh, staying inside like we should be doing our social distancing. Um, how's it been for you guys? You know, we've been up at our lake house. That's where I am right now. It's still, uh, today was a beautiful day, actually. It felt a little spring-like, but uh, a couple days back, we had uh, about five or six inches of snow. 
uh, and it felt like winter wasn't over yet, but uh, the sun was out today and went for a nice walk with my puppy. Nice. And uh, Joyce and Taya were playing tennis today, so it felt felt like a little spark of, of change in the air, which hopefully that positivity is something we all need. Uh, because when you get cooped up, it's easy to get you know caught up in all the the negative that you that you see on television. That's for sure. So I think yeah. the awareness is still super important. But uh, I think the the half full mentality and the positivity is what we all need right now. And it's so important, right? Like I mean, everybody being in similar situations, whatever this is, as it has sort of been a leveler of sorts. It doesn't matter where you're from or who you are. You know, we're all affected in the same way. And that positivity and joy is so important. Like, life as it should be, life as we knew, everything has changed. But there's some things that don't have to, which is this. You know, being able to reach out to your friends, being able to, you know, be with your family, watch your dogs fight. Stop it. <laughs> well, I think the connectivity. Okay, enough. I think the connectivity with your family and friends right now yeah. is probably more important than ever. And it really gives you pause for thinking about all of that. And, I, and I'm sure as we've been doing connecting, I'm sure that, you know, it's been a, probably the biggest outreach um, in friends and family that I can remember in the longest time, besides possibly at a holiday, where everybody's checking in all the time and, um, and sending good vibes out there. And cooking. We're cooking nonstop. Joy, Living in the kitchen. Joyce is holding the, the phone, but Joyce. she's staying Joyce. in the Hi. Why are you? Why don't we see you? <laughs> Hi. Turn the phone, Joyce. Turn no, phone. thank you. Are you kidding? I just got Turn out of the shower. Turn the phone, again. Joyce. <laughs> um, I'm honing well, my cooking skills. <laughs> Very you know, nice. Uh, nice. I don't have any, otherwise I would have done that too. <laughs> I'll, I'll teach you. You know, it's nice. a good time to be binging on The Voice as well. It's been a crazy... Uh, crazy season already you know it's kind of funny I you know you and I were talking a few weeks back when you had just kicked off the season and um first of all you're kicking ass I mean it's um, hey, hey, isn't he I mean it really is and and he's totally in control yeah right and um and the competition is at an ultimate high there uh and I love the I love the relationship already between you and Blake and you know, especially you two. I mean, it's really, a, he's such a character with you. Yeah, um, but I definitely really think he's, I think he's definitely feeling the hot air breathing down his neck there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> just, just wait. Team Nick, it's even better than what people have seen so far. Come here, Jojo. Come here. Hi, Jojo. Jojo. Hi. Hello, Jojo. Here's Jojo. <laughs> um, Jojo, um, uh, if you had to pick so far... Do you have a, a favorite from my team that you've seen? Not to put you on the spot, but. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't really. I, um, I'm probably, you know, I mean, I think that there's, there's so much action going in on the last week. Yeah. And um, I love, you know, I'm kind of leaning forward in this chair because I kind of got that from how you sit in your chair at the uh, – <laughs> <laughs> you're all, everybody else is kind of laid back and you're right up there with your ears out and your, uh, with your, your ear hand up. ready, your <laughs> hand ready, but your hand is also very steady. It's not going to hit that buzzer unless there's a real reason to hit it, which I think is pretty, uh, pretty amazing for, uh, in, in any season, but for sure the first season in on it, but you, you definitely feel like you've been doing this a long time there and you you're already a great mentor. That means a lot. Well, I think that, you know, that's actually something that's been really interesting is obviously in these, these times, which are, are challenging for everybody, the need for entertainment is real and the need to take your mind off things. And, and uh, I know a lot of people have been watching the, uh, the, the Prince of, of, what is it? The King of Cats? Tiger King. Tiger King, uh, which I've not seen much of yet. I but have music. <laughs> music is one of the things that connected us early on, as well as exactly. you know, our love for tequila and, like I said before, creating and everything else. So what's been the, the soundtrack for, for your uh, social distancing, isolation? You know, we've had music playing like 24-7 from the moment we get up, whether it's, you know, on our, uh, uh, like our system throughout our house here, which would be, you know, on Pandora or 
um, you know, Spotify or just a playlist. But um, I, we also been super deep into jazz. It's been kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, our soundtrack in the last couple of weeks, I would say the most that we've been listening to. But I also have a couple of artists that have been in the studio uh, nice. during this period of time. Uh, one's been one of the groups has been down in Nashville and the other one in Chicago. So we've been getting um, dailies from them, uh, rough mixes and some some final mixes as well, some mastered mixes. So those have been it's been kind of a lot of fun going back and forth and, um, you know, with everybody on the team and, and making comments there. So. Definitely, um, I would say there's been a lot of music. How about you? Uh, we've been, I mean, we've actually been listening to a lot of music, but but more so we've been in a creative tunnel as of late. Um, you know, just writing, <laughs> trying to keep our minds stimulated. Uh, since, you know, we, we got married, we haven't had uh, this much this time. This much time with each other? Just oh my at gosh. home. Um, or at home, Because yeah. we've been traveling so much and everything else. So it's, it's been... Um, nice in the sense that we've been able to just get to create and kind of spend that time with each other. And, um, you know, so more so than the music, uh, creating scripts and, and ideas and things in that world. And then also, you know, the new, the new Weekend album came out. We've been listening to that quite a bit. We're always on a Troy Sivan kick. Um, and then I love my musical theater. Yeah, we go back to the Lemus sometimes. We go to... Um... I don't know. We've just been listening to music from around the world. We do Hindi music, of course, Nick's favorite, which comes on at like about, you know, when the party's getting started between the two of us and we get lit. <laughs> 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 now, what time is the party starting? Five o'clock someplace or five, five o'clock somewhere? PST. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take the dogs on. Right. Have you. fun, y'all. Bye, Bye Craig. Joyce. Bye. 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 <laughs> Have fun, guys. See you soon. You know, the other thing uh, the other thing I wanted to say why we're thinking about all this, because the world is kind of shut down, is, um, you know, we really want everybody to go out and support, um, you know, the bartenders and the um, all the restaurant workers and any of the places that are doing delivery right now, because um, that industry is just really hammered at this moment. And and you can definitely give them a big support. Um, by going out and, and ordering in at this point in time. For sure. Yeah, my my um, my dad has a restaurant in North Carolina and I was catching up with him two days ago. Um, they've shifted obviously totally just to- uh, their how, are they, how are they their doing down there? They're doing, they're doing all right. Uh, I'm sure they're watching now. Hi mom, hi dad. Um, but you know, that that is a big thing and there are so many industries that are being hit by this and I, I think it, it's it's, tough for, for everybody in a way. And um, I think that, you know, it's times like these when people rise up and really show their love and support for others uh, and a selfless attitude about everything. And uh, I really admire that in people. And especially, you know, to be honest, I might be biased, but but my fans, our fans um, are, are so loving and, and so giving. And the, the message you guys send online, we see all that, it means a lot to us. Um, but also, uh, you know, Priyanka at least comes from a family of um, doctors and, and people who are on those front lines uh, every day in the hospitals and caretakers and making sure that, that you know, they're doing all they can to help others, but also, uh, you know, trying their best not to, to put themselves um, in a vulnerable spot as well. So to all of our doctors and caretakers out there, we, we salute you, admire you, and thanks for everything you're doing because um, it is so important. Yeah. Um, Shifting gears to, uh, to tequila for a second. <laughs> I will say that, uh, you know, each day, we, we were talking about this before, we get to a point and we spend our time creating, we're doing what we're doing, and we're obviously isolated here, which is very important. But uh, being able to sit down and actually have a drink and talk about the way you feel, the way this is all affecting you, um, is super important. Um, so I think when we spoke about this idea of just actually, what does it look like if two friends get on FaceTime, but allow the world to see it and just talk over a drink. Um, and, you know, I, I, I think it's such a, a, a nice opportunity to open it up to the, the people watching as well. If you guys have questions for us, um, we're certainly um, 
educated on tequila at this point, but but we're, we're <laughs> by no means, um, you know, professionals on on uh, the COVID nineteen virus, um, and so we'll leave those questions to the doctors and uh, professionals who can who can answer them the right way. Um, but if you have questions about either the work that me and John are doing um, or kind of what's in store for us looking towards this year, which is a bit unknown for, for everybody, uh, shoot them out to us on these comments below. Someone says, please sing. Another comment said, uh, <laughs> that fireplace behind John goals. Um, John, your fireplace is goals. My fireplace goals, uh, you know, just the uh, kind of bringing the family in uh, together. I mean, we're all, the three of us, uh, as you and Pri are together, the three of us are kind of locked in here. We've been at our lake house for two weeks. And the fireplace is something that pretty much either every morning or every night or both, we kind of, uh, it brings us all together in the same room. And we spend time talking about all the things in our lives and the important things. Um, yeah. And, you know, and, and also, you know, the things that are going on in the world right now with, again, trying to be a little bit more positive about those things. Um, For sure. So that's my fireplace goal. I like that. <laughs> this person says, uh, what makes a good tequila? Well, um, there are a lot of factors that make a good tequila. Uh, and, you know, we've learned a lot, but we're, we're still learning. So I, I think we can speak to what helped us make ours. But... Um, you know, I think what makes a good tequila is a combination of uh, a few things. Uh, we have an amazing distiller, uh, Arturo Fuentes, who helped us build something uh, after, you know, a, a long process. Um, but what what he does is he takes extreme care in every single detail. And I think that's the thing you have to be really conscious of in any sort of form of art is just the the detail in which you approach that project and um, his care and love for what he does speaks to us. And so we, we trusted in him in that process. And then from there, it was about just kind of figuring out what we liked, John, you and I, and, and um, kind of what uh, inspired us. And, and you know, I think the Reposado immediately stood out to both of us and was, was something that was just, uh, I don't know, became a part of the fabric of our life in, in a sense. And, and the, the journey to actually make it was really inspiring. Uh, and then, you know, for me, having a partner like John who, uh, can create such an aesthetically pleasing and beautiful product, uh, you know, was, was really helpful. And, and I think you guys will see that if you go check it out. Um, this person, sorry, what, they said, what, what are your three favorite tequilas? Well, we're, I mean, we're pretty biased. Uh, <laughs> I'd say Villa One Silver, Villa One Reposado, and Villa One Añejo. I would say that's it. And you can get those on, uh, you can get have those delivered to your house from drizzly.com and also from reservebar.com right now too. So you don't have to leave. Um, and they're definitely all worth three trying. In fact, it's, uh, we love competing against other tequilas because we think we have some great stuff here. And so we, we, we welcome you to do the taste test out there against the, any other tequilas that you've been drinking. John, um, what's your, but, this person says, what's your favorite TV show? Oh, well, right now it's The Voice. <laughs> voice. They also asked a follow-up. Do you watch Dance Moms, which I'm actually curious to hear the answer to. No. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a show called Dance Moms. I'm sorry to say. Well, there is, and apparently it's very, very entertaining. <laughs> um, let's see. We've got more questions. Uh, what's going on with the tour doc and, and new album? Someone asks, I assume that's a, question, that's a question for me, <laughs> unless you have a tour documentary coming out, but I don't know about it. <laughs> no, we are. Um, one doc. <laughs> I'll just say this for whoever's watching, uh, be on the lookout because there are some things coming. I'll just leave it at that. I think in this time of, of needing to be, you know, sort of able to adapt at any moment and, and um, make your plans, but then also, um, you know, think about uh, how you can continue to, to keep the art alive and, and actually reach people. And that's our main goal. We've taken the, the, the thought of, you know, let's just stay creative. And that's why we've been, at the, at, you know, staying in the house and, and writing and trying to do all we can as far as screenplays and other things that inspire us. But as far as the brother stuff goes, uh, I don't want to speak out of turn because it's obviously the three of us that talk about it. But 
um, we are, are, are thinking and hopefully have something for them. Growing, for all of you. growing. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Please come to Saskatoon on your next tour. Um, okay, uh, <laughs> that would be beautiful. Um, let's see, more questions here. Uh, when is the book coming out? Well, again, soon. I've got no, no hard <laughs> dates, dates for anybody. John, I got a question for you. Yes, sir. What have you been doing to, uh, to exercise in this time of, of uh, isolation? That's a good question. So um, I, uh, I, I've had a uh, rowing machine in storage that was never really put together. So about a week and a half ago, I put that together. Uh, it's both a cycle and a rowing machine, and uh, and I've actually been enjoying it. Um, it definitely gets the heart beat beating. It you know works a lot of parts of my body, um, and it's uh, it's you know not everybody likes every part of uh, what they do. I, I usually work with a trainer, so of course I'm working by myself right now, and it's something that um, I actually have. Uh, truly look forward to uh, going down and spending a bit of time uh, uh, at the house here. How about you? I saw you out in front of your, uh, your house today. It looked like you were doing some exercise. You posted something. Yeah, we've been uh, Place, working out pretty yeah. regularly here. Um, you know, we, we've been doing the home workout situation. We have a few small things that we can use. And, you know, over the years of training, I picked up a little, little things here and there. So I've been I've been training, but I had to ask, you know, pre and 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 say, you want me to take this seriously, or do you want me, you know, to just I don't know. <laughs> well, and, knowing you, it has to be serious. Yeah. Okay. So we've taken it pretty seriously. Um, someone says, uh, leading into that, what does your typical quarantine day look like? Uh, well, we we get up, we take the dogs out, um, we then work out, and then we spend a few hours kind of creating, trying to keep our brains stimulated. Um, we have a, a drink and then we, we usually have dinner and watch a, a TV show or a movie. We watched a great documentary the other night, which if you haven't seen it, you should. It's called The Boys. It's the Sherman Brothers documentary. It's about uh, Bob and Dick Sherman who, who wrote so, uh, so many of the, the most beloved Disney classics and beyond um, that you know we all love and, and their story is incredible. Obviously, I connected to it because it's a brother story. But sure. um, for any music lover or Disney film lover, this is a film you should watch. And um, it, it just really, I've seen it now two or three times. It, it blows me away every time. The, the, just the, the career these guys had and the ability to craft the perfect song for the perfect moment. Uh, and even the, the conversations they had with uh, Walt Disney um, around Mary Poppins, for instance, and um, their relationship they built. So it's a good watch, it's a good documentary. Um, and, you know, that's our day, pretty much. What about yours? John, Joyce? He's on the phone from morning till night. <laughs> Joyce is saying I'm on the phone from morning to night, yeah. I mean, this is my office, as it is yours as well. So I'm, uh, I'm kind of, uh, I've been on the phone for, you know, because of international business and calls, uh, it starts quite early uh, with Asia and, uh, and it goes quite late. Um, but, uh, you know, get up, you know, you know, take the dog out. Uh, she actually, you know, we can let her out here. She'll split and we're not sure if she's coming back or not. <laughs> uh, or after she starts chasing deer or, or squirrels around here. But, uh, you know, uh, if, if the weather's nice, it's supposed to rain again here for a bunch of days in a row. But if the weather's nice, it's a good way to get going. And it's in a way, it's a luxury that we normally don't have because we usually get going and immediately, you know, start running to the office early in the morning. So, um, and I have to say in a way blessed to have lunch. Joyce has been amazing cooking constantly. She's been like uh, a restaurateur on her own in the home. And so she's been making pretty much breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I mean, we're pretty blessed. Um, Beautiful and, thing. And, uh, yeah. So it's uh, kind of, once you're done with one meal, you're kind of planning what's the next one. Uh, but, uh, the, the positive thing is that, um, we, you know, in, in the whole thing is that we, we haven't killed each other yet. 
and everybody's <laughs> still enjoying spending time together. So a couple weeks in and going strong. That's beautiful. I'm glad to hear that. Um, someone said, nice hat, Nick. Oh, this is my I haven't gotten a haircut in a while hat. Um, <laughs> so it's really good at concealing what's underneath this, which is looking a little wild. But thank you to whoever said that. Um, all right. Well, John, this has been fun. I appreciate your time for jumping on with me. Yeah, it's good to be with you. Good to see your face there. It's now 5.30 somewhere. Yes. Um, and 8.30 somewhere else. But uh, miss you. And uh, you too, hope to see you again soon. To everybody watching home, thanks for uh, joining us. And healthy, if you have a drink. Healthy times to everybody. Lots of love. Cheers to you. Um, all the best. And uh, I hope we all uh, get through this swiftly and everything gets gets worked out, goes back to normal at some point. In the meantime, take all the necessary precautions, wash your hands, do everything that you need to do that our, our doctors have been telling us to do. And uh, we hope to see you on the other side. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.